Up in the booth, I'm Brandon God with no, Charles that's Davis, team. That's team. and these guys should oh, have a huge team. impact on the outcome of this game. They're ready to roll. We're ready to roll. Let's roll. Oh, oh, oh you ready, Chris? Me? Not Chris. The Lions embarrassed him on Thanksgiving Day last year. The Eagles haven't forgotten, and we're underway on EA Sports. Field it about a yard deep. Oh my goodness, that kid is stupid. would have been a net gain of five on the return. This year, he stopped where he would have been if he had taken a knee, and that's at the 25. Oh, God. Oh, he got so good! Caught by Jackson. 
12 yards there, they move the chains. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved him and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. He's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Really nice connection on the corner route. This is a play where the receiver has to set up the defensive back by moving him inside and then breaking back to the corner. Fresh set of downs here. Good job! You stopped him basically. He's only at three yards. The three four yard line. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players in the space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner. Get him out of the flat and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Freeman again, a first down carry. Oh my God! He's way down to the 16. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. In the red zone this time. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more of a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. What? Like after a that? I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. The all-pro in two positions. Khalil Mack there to make the stop. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. But I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. These oh, yes! still have their yes! you can still set up the play. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Control the clock because they, you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. And look at this. They're keeping the punter on the sideline. They're going to go for it here on the opening drive. Throwing. Cook. Stop them. Yes, good stop. Great stop. Convert there on fourth. Great stop. Into it early. Their guys stand tall on the opening drive of the football game. Great stop. They come out here in the eye. Now a play fake here on first down. Good job, Jordan! Hey, on that corner route. Great job. 18 yards gives him a new set of downs. There are so many yeah. things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys. Oh, my. He just stuck me. They bring the safety on the blitz. And he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. to throw. Good job, Jordan! Good job, Jordan! Good job, Jordan! Good job, Jordan! 15 yards, and they're going to face a third down. Here with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, as the Lions are in possession of the football here to begin quarter number two. And they're driving, but they come up on a third and short here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Probably going to go to Ethan, on third and short, they'll try and pick it up. Oh, oh, no! Breaks loose! He breaks loose! He breaks loose! Oh, what's on that man? Flip on him! Flip on him! So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a yes, and I can pull it half too. Hit my hand to run the ball. That offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Following the touchdown, so, now it's Bradley Pinion strong. on to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. Just past the 30 yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And the last drive, 
They were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field, and he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now your field goal kicker, you can on the corner. One-handed, deep downfield, another big completion. I, I know this partner as a defender. Oh, 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 watching what they do, it's everywhere. All the highlight shows, watching it on Madden. Try not to get intimidated before you go out and have to play against these guys and try and stop them. From a shotgun, he'll look to throw. Give me Oh, he caught that. I was like, he caught that. Good job. And they're going to have a third down. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Now Cook. He finds his man. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. And we're going to get another timeout called by the Lions. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Throwing. Cook. Jackson's got it over the middle. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Let's feel the rhythm. Oh, right. You see it. Now oh, the confidence gosh. is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. They run. Devontae Freeman. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. He's going to go. All afternoon, didn't get a whole lot better there. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll make it third and one. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Now a handoff. It's Freeman. And he'll he stopped him. Down, but he the ball was like this when he was in. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. This is Freeman. And he is going to lose yards yes. here. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line there. Yes. They'll look to run with Freeman. Stop him again! Yes! yes. Losing yardage back to the three. He lost two there. And it's third down. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Oh, it's a this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jimmy Graham from three yards out. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And that is going to tie our game yeah. as we approach halftime. We can do this. We got this. So we're right back where we started. We won't have as the kicks away. We're out here. Fielded about a yard deep. Oh, and he, he got brought down off. here at about the 17 yeah. yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And they will simply, yeah. Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it, and have to make some additional changes so along the way because good. I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments. Yeah, but again, have great confidence having scored the last time out. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, you can't. he could be offense. Jordan Reed was the intended target. And it'll be third and ten now. As tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he did not map play. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's going oh to no! Deep left side here. 
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw it away. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. It's a gain of 17, and it'll give them a first down. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against him. And no escaping this time he'll go down. They sack him. 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 Sack Every play call oh, sheet, yeah, yeah, five yeah, or yeah. six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just oh, did, oh, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. He's going to let it go again. Fuck it. Complete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Lions will get the football back in terrific field position. The Lions offense, He's they get so ready to good. head back onto what? the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one time drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Long they did. Let's see how they adjust. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. They're going to look to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Out of the gun now on third down. And that's incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And look at this. It's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on fourth, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up and didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. He trusted his defense. He trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. We'll see what his offense can do. Second down following the incompletion. Now Cook. Complete. The intended target, Doug Baldwin. And it'll be third and ten. And the offense looking to pick up the first down. After oh, so the second you down in completion. So here we go. Now. Extra defensive back in there on third and ten. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting into the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when, when, he, when he gets moving, I mean, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Second down here after the incomplete pass. <laughs> Throwing. Cook. And he comes back with one complete. And he's brought down. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. 
that was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off. Usually after about three to four steps, he gets to his middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up in the touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Freeman, an 11 yard touchdown. And the Eagles get a score closer. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss because that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. That's fielded in the end zone. Oh, nice move. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Back now at Lambeau. It's the Lions holding on to the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. Two the clock. Two The first carry here for Jaquiz Rogers, and he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. It's a loss of two, now third down. Two plays in a row, the defense won, stacking up the running game. They've got to feel good about themselves, but something has to be in the back of their minds. Are we being set up for something big? They've got to be careful. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he couldn't hang oh, yes. to it through the contact. Incomplete. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. And intercepted, maybe the turning point of the Picked off by the former first-round pick, Kevin Johnson. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but... This is actually mean, catch up, Every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, give up the score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball? And then take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jimmy Graham, his second touchdown of the afternoon. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Cook looking to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. That puts it on by seven. He's yes. The 30, so the 20, 10, 5, and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as head play backfires in a big way. No! Maybe no! Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. It's a short kick, taken near the 18. And they're going to start Let's go! In pretty good Let's go! As they get it up past the 30. And Detroit getting set to go now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way oh to run back out there. The totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious yep. Yep, because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. to throw. Finding time. It's caught. What a catch! Bob Crowley! Out of 
Evans after getting this one across the 40. I think that might have been exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive it. perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. It's a quick game. It's a classic game. Get him down. Quick game. A nice game right there. A second and seven. We both like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level oh defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. And that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. One of the things that's really difficult for an offense is often identifying it. how to block it's a 3 4 perfect. defense. Well, when they're coming on a blitz, even then he can't get a throw away. He's the clock Anthony Hitchens with a big time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. What a point. Here's Jackson. What a point. He's going to have to go so far. And the Eagles take possession. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be. Why are you going small? It, that one looks like Because good. this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over the wow. situation. Having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back Let's and go. do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. Right now, it's going to be Back to throw. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up a third down. Well, any caused incompletion is good for a defense. Mm -hmm. But when you add to it, you get a little hit on the quarterback, knock him to the ground, make him think a little bit. He just unveiled it. Time is ticking. He called one. This is going to happen. Out by the offense. It'll be their third and final oh, timeout. Man. So as they talk he things over, we'll step aside. <laughs>